Concerned with the increasing air capabilities of neighboring countries such as Pakistan and China, then India will begin to upgrade and further modernize its Su-30 MKI fighter jets with some new technologies developed by the local defense industry. It is part of India's ongoing effort to upgrade the capabilities of its flagship fighter to a variant it calls the Super Suhoi. The program to upgrade India's Su-30 MKI fighter aircraft will be implemented by the company Hindustan Aeronautics Limited (HAL) which is expected to cost 7.5 billion United States dollars, earned 33.7 billion, with all work done in the country. However, it still requires cooperation from the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, from Russia. The Indian Army is the largest user of Su-30 MKI aircraft outside of Russia with 272 aircraft built under license by a local company, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. The initiative to upgrade the capabilities of the main fighter aircraft of the Indian Air Force is expected to begin in 2026, aiming to ensure that the Su-30 MKI is equipped with technology and capabilities that are in line with the changing landscape of warfare today. New Delhi will face a big problem if it does not upgrade its Su-30 MKI fighters to the level of Super Suhoi. Because its enemies such as Pakistan and China are now equipped with more modern fighter planes with AESA, active electronically scanned array, radar capabilities. India's concern about the inability of its Su-30 MKI aircraft arose when the Pakistani Air Force had already started using the JF-17 Block III fighter aircraft which is said to have the DNA of China's fifth-generation aircraft, the J-20, Mighty Dragon. In addition to Pakistan's JF-17 Block III aircraft which are now equipped with AESA radar, Islamabad also acquired a Chinese-made J-10C medium fighter aircraft which is also equipped with a larger AESA radar, larger transmit and receive module. Beijing is also said to have stationed its ultra-modern J-20 fighter jets at air bases in northern India, as tensions between the two neighbors over long-standing border issues continue. India and China have also been at war several times. According to local media reports, between 80 and 100 Su-30 MKI fighter aircraft will be upgraded in the first phase of the program before it covers the entire fighter aircraft owned by the Indian Air Force. Even so, the upgrading effort will not involve the airframe and engine of the Indian Su-30 MKI aircraft. At this point, the Indian Su-30 MKI fighter jets use engines according to sources who informed local Indian media. The upgrade efforts will include equipping the fighter aircraft with beyond visual range BVR, capabilities, new electronic warfare system capabilities and AESA radar. The AESA radar that will be used by the Su-30 MKI aircraft after the upgrade program is a variant of the local AESA radar, UTAM, which is being developed for the Tejas MK-1A aircraft. According to the Indian defense media, the AESA radar that will be installed on the Su-30 MKI will have a larger transmit and receive TR, module for more powerful target tracking and detection capabilities. In addition to the AESA radar, India's Su-30 MKI upgrade program will also see the fighter jet equipped with a more powerful flight control system, allowing it to be equipped with hypersonic missiles and other missiles. Under the upgrade program, the Indian Su-30 MKI aircraft will also be equipped with a new mission computer a cockpit with a larger touchscreen display and a new weapons system package. The program targets about 25 Su-30 Omakis to be upgraded each year, with all of the aircraft being upgraded by 2034.